Okay, well, that's probably enough HP. Uh, let's see. I got a fair chunk of ore sitting around. Yeah, I guess, honestly, these runs are probably just about as lucrative. I'm just better at the arena runs-ish. Check the class boost. You're right. G. Uh, point two mana regen to all heroes. Andy. Ow. I definitely want to give the uh, the priest to go after this though, for the extra. Well, no, we're gonna probably do paladin next. Then we'll do priest. Now that I'm thinking about it, because yeah, that extra mana regen is not gonna be that helpful on say the mage. Uh, probably really helpful on the the paladin. And then once we get the paladin, that gets us a little bit of passive armor, and then we can try the priest again. Or I can uh, I can just drag. Uh, shell or other associated people into playing with me or something. Maybe I don't know. I might also just open it up so I can we can open lobby this and just do uh, with fans. I just know some teamwork is in involved, and also I know a lot of people have been playing this super obsessively. So I might end up with like, actually that would be really funny if uh, if we get some of the uh, the like regular players of this game uh, to just follow me around as priests. That would be... I mean, honestly, that would be gr goofy, uh... Goofy unfair? But it'd be funny. I wish... I... Uh, one thing I, I do remember is, like, a, a point against the sorcerer is I love his ice spells. I love his right click. It's real strong. I wish there was a uh, red circle that you could actually, like, move around a little bit when trying to cast it. Uh, so you have, like, an idea of where it's going to land. Or any kind of indication of where it's going to land. Because it's entirely just, like... I mean, it drops on your cursor, but... It's, like, a set distance. Actually, it's always a set distance. You, you can't change where it is at all. I'm sure with enough practice, you know exactly where it's going to land, but... Without, it's just kind of like, so, uh, can I aim this? No. Okay. I will kill it eventually. I may be really good at killing groups, but I'm not the greatest at, uh, killing big heavies. Sure, if that was worth it. Once you got Frost Nova, you pretty much never use that one. Yeah, it's kind of understandable. It's it's not that it's bad. It's just that like it doesn't handle well. God, I can't hit these guys at all sometimes. Maybe that aiming line would have been. Yeah. Maybe that aiming line would actually be helpful. I just find it distracting. Aha! You were trying to get at me, were you? Funny. Nope, that didn't work. The one unfortunate thing about this guy, his range is much lower than the ranger. But I honestly, that's kind of fair. He would be broken as shit if he had long range. How are we doing? Now there's still the potential that we're gonna get some more. That's that's kind of handy. Uh, let's see. Keep an eye out for the switch. Unfortunately, the switch is really freaking hard to spot on this uh, this map. Especially, like, with probably the sheer amount of compression that you guys have to deal with. Yeah, nothing. Okay. 
It sucks. I I thought my stomach was hurting earlier because uh I was like stuffed, but I think I'm actually like still really hungry today. I don't know. Our diet has been terrible lately. Um mainly because we haven't been able to cook uh very well. You know, we've only just started getting stuff moved in. We haven't been like grocery shopping that much. We all constantly have to stay home for various things. Uh, so, for example, yesterday we had a, a light switch that was making, like, a concerning electrical noise. So we got that switched out. Uh, but, you know, we had to wait for the electrician. And then today? I think today we we're actually just really tired. And tomorrow we've got trash and recycling uh, finally getting dropped off. I have no idea when. And so we haven't... There's, like, the minor minor interruptions that make it kind of difficult to have a sense of regularity. And I'm I'm looking forward to going on my trip and then coming back and more or less immediately being like, this is what normal feels like. There it is. Okay, I don't see any cells here. I think we mostly had them on the bottom. Anything over there? No. No, it really is that, that lowest section. And only that lowest section. Unless there's more of I don't, I don't know. Let's see if we beat the boss after this. I'd, I'd like to... I'd like to actually... I mean, it'd be pretty swank if I could actually beat the uh, tier 2 boss with the, the mage. I'm probably going to get crushed by something. But you never know what. Oh, top left had a cell? Dang it, you're right. Actually, there's a couple cells over here. It looks like it's mostly cash money. I only really care about ore right now. Because ore is a little harder to come by. Yeah, it amounts to like 100 gold. If I don't get it, meh. You think this character can make it the second boss? This character, the Warlock or the Ranger, probably all currently have the potential. easily have the potential. I think we've got one more. It's really the question of, do I kill myself in a trap room by accident, or, uh... or make some mistakes? Because this guy's got, uh, some serious regen on him, too. That almost none of my other characters have ever generally had. Okay, Amulet of Resistance, Lesser Sphere of Time, Spiked Flail. Swing a mana. A Lucky Horseshoe might not be bad, but pricey. I don't know. Ow. I just mainly have to make sure I don't get hit by too many arrows like that. My regen's enough to take the edge off, so I don't have to worry about it, but, uh, I don't have any potions. So yeah, I might be able to make it to the, the second boss. Beating it might be a little tougher. Because the second boss... Man, I don't even remember what the second boss is. I only fought him a couple of times. I think we destroyed him in, in multi. Let's see. Got to avoid... It'll be nice once uh, I get a couple more upgrades on this guy. Uh, both of both of my characters. Ow. Whoa. Okay, poison won't kill me, but I gotta... I gotta really... Yeah, that could have... That, that absolutely went bad. All right, let's just hang out for a second. Again. <sighs> At least I don't think anybody anybody's coming for me. So what have people been up to lately? Oh god, I said I was going to switch at 8. I am a liar, apparently.
do 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 Banning people from YouTube for being shitty. I don't know. I I guess I was talking about this. What was it? When was I talking about this? An astroneer or something? No, Nova Drift. I I think I've I've grown to have a little bit more of a hair tri trigger for like removing YouTube comments that annoy me. Uh, compared to like when I was first starting the channel out. Now, now I've just gotten kind of the point of like, oh, this person's just being like snitty for no good reason. Eh, I don't need him around. So in this case, it was somebody that was like criticizing me for, I guess, not being interesting enough. Okay, not really sure what I'm supposed to do in that regard. Oh. oh I get an apple. Yay. I think if you go really fast and you get all of those... You, uh, might get more resources. That's probably the case. It's always kind of unfun to, to like, say, like, Hey, what interesting things have happened, uh, in the comment section lately? And the answer is always just, like, There is somebody that hates my guts and has nothing nice to say. I know that's, like, the stupidest phrase from elementary school, but just like, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't, don't say it at all. But like, the older I get, I think, I think the more I get, get to that mentality of like, yep, nope. This person's just going to be mean, no matter how much I like reason, logic, or just try. So why bother? Let's move on. It does make me wonder how other YouTubers deal with it. I should probably ask about that. Let's see, Wonder, did you miss Aurora Dusk again? Yes, we did like three hours of it yesterday. I think we're probably gonna do another session on Saturday, maybe. I don't know. I gotta, I gotta figure out exactly what my schedule is going to be, um, because I want to do a, a, at least one more round of Aurora Dusk uh, before I go on my trip, because that was really fun. Unfortunately, I got a little burnt out after yesterday's three-hour mega, mega survival thing. Flee before me, Bannerman. Okay, there's the switch. Perfect. Unfortunately, those archers outrange me, so I have to... I have to take them a bit more seriously. Where's the banner man? Banner man's in the back. Magician's circle. Oh, did we level up? We might have leveled up. Let's see, can I... Aha! No trick shots, though. They're all dead. Never mind, then. Okay, now I believe I saw... Did I not? It must not have been here. Maybe it's at the, lo uh, the end of this, like, grossly long... hallway. It probably is. Give me all that gold. Where's man? Need some moolah. Let's see, there- I think there are people you can reason with on YouTube. In fact, I was an angry commenter. person called you out in your BS and you apologized. I mean, it's entirely fair. Uh, it's just like, I find it such a- It- it- I guess it also kind of depends on what the angry comment is about. Uh, in this case, it was somebody that was complaining that I was boring or something when I was playing, uh, Echo. Which is fair, I- there are actually times- there are absolutely times when I am actually quite boring. And I will, like, accept that. Um, uh, but, let's see, do we just, dumb it? let's go see what we have in that chest. Actually, that chest is a silver chest, I don't have a key. So that's probably not worth it. Well, we'll see what we can get in the area, and then probably just truck it all off. 
That's a lot of money, at least. But yeah, no silver, no silver key, and no silver keys around. Uh, I've definitely had a lot of success from people that. Oh God, bad time to have my my hand off my, uh, my keyboard or my mouse. Really, it's like, uh, uh, how do I react to this? I actually don't have a good answer. Anyway, um, I don't even. From my experience, I would say a solid third of the people that I would like respond to might actually be quite reasonable. Uh, but that is heavily offset by the the ones that aren't reasonable. Because sometimes I'll like just try and be nice, and most of the time, like nobody even responds to me calling them out. Um, let's see. I had oh God. I had one person that was trying to convince me to keep uh, abusive people in my life just to uh, just to keep. Uh, I guess kind of because second chances are important, and I was just like. I don't, I don't want to listen to you. And they got like, they got mad too. They're like, no, everyone deserves as many chances as, as you can actually give them. And I'm just like, I, t no. Or uh, uh, honestly, whenever I bring bring up the, uh, whenever I bring up like ad rev on YouTube. Oh man, I I know. Here's a good example. Uh, I had somebody that was actively telling me I couldn't complain about my job because. I chose my job, and it's a fun job. And I think I'd have responded nicely to him initially, being like, you know, just because, you know, I have a decent job and I like it doesn't mean that I don't have complaints. Because I do. There's a lot There's a lot of things wrong with, like, YouTubing and streaming. Uh, you know, poor work-life balance. Uh, you know, uncertain wages. Like, my income has very... Oh, God. Wow. That guy one-shot me. You were talk were you talking to Dumbledore? Uh kinda. Hello. That's a nice little perk. Let's go get this guy some potion bits. Uh let's see. So, uh this guy was more or less saying that, you know, because I was I was I had the equivalent of other people's dream job, uh I should have no complaints about what I currently do. And uh you know, I was trying to explain that, like, yeah, you know, I have a decent job and I like it a lot, but, like, there are problems with it. And he just, no matter what, he didn't want to hear it because, let's, let's get that guild hall. It's the most important thing. Because, you know, I, I as a YouTuber, have a, a job that other people dream, dream of. And it was really offensive because it was just like, I, so what am I supposed to do? Just, like, say nothing? just be like the silent entertainment monkey and yeah that actually was uh more or less what his demand was Let's see damage is increased by 10 percent per bounce damn i think i'd rather have frost shard over frost nova though uh but no i'll go frost nova for you yeah no that's good Okay, so do we go to this guy? Sure. Honestly, this guy's probably going to be one of my main bruisers. So I'm gonna just buff him up. Admittedly, it comes at the cost of the next character I play, but we're going to be able to do some serious, serious money making with the, uh, with the paladin. Don't you know you're not allowed to complain about working conditions unless you're rich? Uh... I did I... <laughs> I do remember having a conversation with a friend once. Uh... Who is... Comparatively... Oh, hi, Shell. Ooh! Ooh! Ooh, that's good. Actually, Shell, you wanna come in here? Okay, Shell's grabbing... Shell got some mac and cheese. Alright, let's, let's go die as the paladin, probably. And then switch. See, permission to speak freely, because I have an opinion on this, and it's not nice. Yeah, go for it. I mean, realistically, I'm fine listening to other people's opinions. It's when it's like, reasonable discourse fails in favor of just being grumple. Hello, incoming projectiles within a 90 degree arc. And chance to block, yes. Okay. So I want to get one in sword. Probably. But I want to more or less max out this shield. Because effectively, if I can block all projectiles in front of me, 
Uh, that's going to make Paladin so much easier. Let's see. So we have, like, no money for this guy, but that's fine. Yeah, look at shield T5. I'm sure it's a ridiculous arc. Let's see, yeah, 210 degree arc. And com combo that with the frying pan, it makes this guy really hard to hit with projectiles, which is nice. Um, but no, I, I relatively believe in free speech as a thing. I just, I find a lot of people hide behind free speech as a means to just say mean and hurtful things. At which point I'd say, like, that's probably uh, an easy point to, like, draw the line. Because, like, yeah, I guess I've actually had other people that get really snitty at me because I, uh, I banned them from my channel or, you know, was deleting their comments or who knows what. Um... But, so, uh, they're, they're mad at me because I was, I was censorship, uh, but this is the same person that was effectively just verbally harassing and attacking other, other folks, uh, yeah, I gotta stay away from the exploders, or shoot them out of the air, um, and it's kind of one of those where it's like, that's, that's a certain point where you kind of have to draw the line, it's like, that's not really, like, okay, yeah, you might not be... You might be entitled to your opinion, but I'm not required to listen to you. And if I have the power to remove that, eh, I think it's fair. Okay, what do we got? No, it's just it's just spawners. Just got to stay away from the the ranged ones. They just back up slowly while they try and shoot at me. Good luck, ranged enemies. Is Paladin good for arrow traps? Interesting question. I actually don't know. I'm assuming arrow traps are an exception. Because that would be... That would be broken strong. Oh, uh, shell made mac and cheese. And I wanted to do one run with this guy. Just to unlock the... Uh, ow. Just to unlock the... Uh, the bonus from this guy before we move on. And it is pain. It does work on them. Wow. Okay, Paladin's pretty damn good. Most people who argue on YouTube are people that have a bully mentality, right? Uh, they have to be right and damn anyone that says otherwise. They don't care if you're suffering multiple strokes and dead in the hospital. Oof. That's... Yeah? You're wrong. They're right. Best thing to do is ignore them. Yeah. I... Oh, God. I've had friends like that, and it is... I think when you realize that somebody's opinions are greater than your, uh, than you as a person are, um, I think that's the point where you actually just have to stop talking to them. Um, you know, it's, it, most people are pretty reasonable, but every once in a while you find somebody that's just like, no, I, no matter what, I am the correct one. And I, I will admit, there are definitely points where I will probably have, like, such a staunch opinion that I become that person. I think it's the question of, like, you know, do people have the hill to die on, or is every hill, uh, the hill that they die on? Let's see, can you fall into the pits? Uh, maybe with the glass walkways perk, but not so much so. It's so, like, I don't know, for, for me, for example, I've, uh, believe pretty strongly about, like, oh, jeez. I mean, honestly, like, Ow. Okay, spikers cannot be blocked. Okay, got it. I, those spikers in the corner are painful. Uh, I believe pretty strongly in, like, treating other people well. And so, like, whenever I hear about, you know, I... Is this even controversial anymore? God, it better not be. And if this pisses somebody off, I don't care. Uh, but, like, gay rights, for example. Easy, easy thing that I believe pretty strongly in, and if somebody tried to, like, argue with me that, like, they don't believe, uh, that they shouldn't be allowed to marry, and it's like, okay, I, I mean, unless you said that, like, marriage is, is, like, a religious thing and, and civil unions should just be on par, and, like, that's, like, the only edge argument you might be able to throw at me. Uh, but anybody that would immediately start saying, like, ah, you know, I, you know, it's, we hate the gays, uh, is immediately just like, yep, nope, not interested in listening to 
you know, your opinions anymore. Which, unfortunately, means I can't talk to most of my relatives sometimes. Uh, because they have some pretty strong opinions in that regard, and... Ooh, I don't... What was it? During the whole Chick-fil-A argument, I didn't remember... I mean, I'm sure a number of people can rem remember that, like, was it 10 years ago at this point? Uh, it came out that Chick-fil-A was funding, you know, anti-gay, uh, programs. And a bunch of people started boycotting Chick-fil-A. And a bunch of my relatives got on Facebook to angrily, uh, come out in support of Chick-fil-A because... Yeah. And I was just like, well, I guess I'm not speaking to you outside of the once in a extremely blue moon family occasion. Which is nice, because I pretty much never go back home anyway, so it's like, alright, I don't have to worry about this. Uh, let's see. Okay, are we good? Oh. I should probably wait for the, uh... Man, paladins are busted. I love it. <laughs> this is convenient. Shall do you wish to play this glorious game with me? Children of Morta? Yeah. Yeah, I can see it. Uh, a little bit more arcadey than Children of Morta. Children of Morta had, like, some more RPG elements. Uh, this game definitely has RPG elements, but Children of Morta, I think, was, like, actually had more storytelling. This is, this is like, go into a dungeon, kill monsters, try and get further, buy some upgrades. Let's see, no game switch. We are switching, uh, more or less momentarily. I just wanted to kill the golem with this guy, and then probably die. I want to die! Kill me, creatures! If you can pierce my defenses. But you never will. They're pretty impregnable. Ow. Ow! I've been impregnabled. <laughs> or is it pregnabled? Oh god. That sounds way way too close to other things. Ah! Chest bursters. <laughs> Let's see. Did I hear Shell giggling at you? Yes. Yeah, uh, we are supposed to switch to, a uh, Baba is You about an hour ago, but I'm kind of hooked on this game because it's good. And so we'll be switching to Baba is You fairly shortly. Uh, however... Uh... I will- I will have the macaroni shell, don't worry. It'll be good. That's why I never use the word impregnable. This is fair. I gotta use the charge more often. I gotta use this character more often. Chow. We should play this together tomorrow. I need your help. Like, I legitimately need a second player. It's hard. For some of the characters. I prom- Uh, let's see. There's a paladin, there's a thief, there's a sorcerer, there's a wizard, there's a warlock, there's a ranger, there's a gladiator, and a thief. I think that's all of them. No, 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 no. There's- there's no assassin. Uh, thief and- I- uh, I just said it twice. Thief is rogue. There's only one. Oh, boy. Oh, no, I guess we're fine. That stupid crossbeam is just like, uh... Still can't get anything here. Oh, back. See, no druids? Sadly not. Oh, shoot. We should, um... I should see if I can get some spare keys for Moon Hunters and stuff. That would be a lovely game to play with, um... Moose and Joe. This game reminds me of Moon Hunters. I... If Moon Hunters had been closer to Heroes of Hammerwatch, I think I would have really loved that game. As it stands, it was pretty good, but still. Oh, let's see. Though, I'm looking forward to their next game, which is Boyfriend Dungeon, which is like, one part dating sim, one part... Uh, Dungeon Crawler, which is hilarious? And it's like... 
Tell me that there's other games that even play like that. I'll wait. I will gladly play them. I... And since it's Kit Fox Games, it's like... I have a relatively good, good idea that it's going to be decent. What's up, Shell? I don't have a whole lot of interest in dating sims, but a dating sim dungeon crawler from Kit Fox? I'll play that. The art would be good. The only other dating sim that, like, would really interest me... I mean, there's a couple. But, uh, the, the other dating sim I'd be really interested in would be a dating sim made by Supergiant. There we go, got it. Oh god, avoid. I shall. Shell really wants me to play a couple of dating sims with her, but I get really awkward and nervous whenever whenever I think about it. No, you're not stealing my mac and cheese. Do not steal my mac and cheese. Please, it's all I have. That scent, it makes me hungry. I will die now to bats. Wow. Holy crap. <laughs> they destroy you fast. See, what about uh, Persona? I guess I have played Persona. Did I? Yeah, I guess I did end up uh, dating somebody in Persona as well. Eh, I guess. 